On this episode of The Kevin Widop Show, I speak to singer-songwriter Sanaya Peytande on getting paid as a creative, transparency. Okay, um, Sanaya Peytande, how do I put it? Uh, born and raised in Mombasa, moved to Nairobi 2001 when I was 16, finished high school, uh, got a really good grade that I can't quite remember now because it was a while back. Um, and then joined Kenya Medical Training College to do pharmacy. Didn't finish that because of Coca-Cola pop stars. Won that, my dad was like, you know what, you're still young, you can go back to school, which I never have. You know, I haven't... I haven't school of life. School of life, yes. But you still need to get those papers. And so what, what's immediately coming to my, my mind is that, okay, so there were, there were expletives and bad language in, in this music video. And funny words. Funny words. <laughs> you, you, you say euphemistically. Right. Uh, it's, this is probably quite different, but you, you're as well, well known recently for this uh, quite raunchy yes. video, which you know, became slightly controversial, right. popularly known as the Fi Song. The, the, the thigh song. The thigh song. So, so in, in Kenyan, was it? Mafalmi wa? Ma, ma, penzi. wa ma penzi. The king of lovemaking. The king of lovemaking. Yes. Okay. So, so I, is, is that just an expression of, um, of your creative side? You know, it, it, it was, for Kenya, yes. it was quite liberal, right. to put it. I think for me, first of all, uh, if you've listened to all my music, uh, it's very message oriented. So any topic that I pick up on is, I'm, I talk about it because I have basically felt like there's there's something lacking in that particular area. People are not communicating. And yeah. in today's world, where we are going, we have to be very open about certain things. Yeah. And and if I can say this, sex is one of those issues. Sure. Now you find a lot of the times that uh, couples, they don't talk to each other. They mm. complain to their friends about, oh, he's not doing this, and I don't like it when she does that. And But well, why are you not talking to the person that you are with? And so that was sort of expressing that. I'm talking about this man that I've met, and he is, oh my God, all over the place, and you know, he's that good. And I'm expressing that, and I'm celebrating that about him. Yeah. I'm not afraid of saying it. Um, so it's it's basically just to tell people that you you need to be open about this stuff. Number one, number two, you need to you need to celebrate love and love making, and mm. because it's as much as it's not the main thing in relationships, it's it's fundamental. And yeah. if you're not enjoying that aspect of your relationship, then uh, to some extent, some things really fail. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, I, I don't want to get into the detail of it, but it's 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 very not that kind of share. <laughs> It's very important for that department of your relationship to work. And if you're not connecting on the physical level, yeah. and let's be honest about it, I think women lie yeah. uh, because they, they keep talking about, oh, I want a man like this, who listens, who's what, but we are as physical as men are, and women don't right. want to admit that. Mm. Women also need to be honest with each other and just say, look, the first thing that attracted me to you was either you have, you know, you're really handsome or I really like your body or, you know, you've got amazing fingers. Women have some, you know, everyone has some weird fetishes. But yeah. at the end of the day, just be honest about it. The one thing that attracted you to this person is A, B, C. And then after that, when you got to know the person, then you like the fact that they're very elegant, <coughs> and they're very smart and they're very well spoken. Let's be honest about things. And and that's in Falma Mapenzi. It was coming from an honest point yeah. of, of, of in every aspect of our lives, let's let's just be out there. Let's just be honest about things and stop sugarcoating. I think with the way the world is going and, and, and you know, the speed at which it's going. Yeah. You just got to be honest about things. Yeah, I've been called blunt before. Uh, right. Yes. No, it's interesting because, so I, I read up on that and, and we've talked about it before and there was a, a little bit of controversy. Was it solely because, was it because of the message or was it because of the, the exposure, the, the skin exposure? I think it was both. It was the words that I was using okay. uh, and, and the fact that, you know, my thighs were all out there. Yeah. And I'm like, look, it's, it's, it's a song that talks about lovemaking. Sure. There's no way in hell, and I keep making this joke all the time, there's no way I was going to shoot that sitting outside somebody's gate throwing stones at cars. Mm -hmm. that, that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It's a sexy song and it automatically required a sexy video. Um, but I think we, we are, we've got double standards in Kenya because if you look at the music, music shows that we have and the kind of music that we're playing, <coughs> the videos, I mean, they're butt naked. Sure. You know, but because a Kenyan has done it, and I'm not even butt naked in that. Because, no. I mean, I have, I have my, my boundaries. You, so. You're in the bubble bath. There are a few bubbles there, yeah? Yes, and I'm <laughs> very clothed in that, in that bubble bath. Okay, I see. I am. Right. Everyone was like, oh my God, she's so naked. And I'm like, no, I'm not. No. I was not going to be in a room full of, you know, guys and, mm -hmm. and completely stripped down. On, so on, on alcohol is, 
I, I had to go there. I so so I met you a couple of times, and you've you, you talked about you know kicking it, yeah. and is I mean is alcohol something that you 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 want to quit? Is it something that you've you ever feel as is as detracted from your multi-talented singer-songwriter? <laughs> so. I remember that. Is it something I want to quit? Yes, for many reasons. Uh, I mean, other than the fact that it's really not good for my voice. Okay. Then again, you did mention we've hung out quite a few times and uh, I have no mixing with water or Coca-Cola or whatever. You're straight. It's just straight up. And that's really not good for my voice. Yeah. Um, then there's also bad judgment. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll never stagger and, and I will <coughs> never engage in any funny stuff. Sure, sure. But um, then again, there's also don't drink and drive. Yeah, and which I, happens a lot as yes, well, right? Because I'm, I'm very stubborn with my car. I, okay. I don't like being picked up. I don't like being dropped home. I do not like anyone driving my car. Yeah. If I'm not driving my car, then I'm using my own cab. I'm yeah. not sharing a cab. I'm not doing anything like that. It, it kind of keeps you safe. Mm -hmm. um, so there's the drink driving uh, part of it. And then there's also, you know, the, the few near accidents that, uh, you know, could have happened. Right. And I think sit, sitting uh, and looking back Im and, and imagining, you know, the outcome of that particular accident. Yeah. I mean, it can be it can be really disastrous. Mm. It can be really bad. And, and I'm not it's like you're not taking into consideration. What about your parents? How are they going to feel about it? And then being somebody who is being a personality that getting out there. Um, and then on top of that, being a girl who was drunk and driving, yeah. it, it, it's shunned upon in the society. Finally really really good to speak to you thank you on this saturday morning <laughs> have you have you got any any final words about i mean great advice about getting paid great advice about you know being being upfront and honest and transparent but if there, if there are any kenyans especially because this is the market you've been operating in africans more generally or anybody out there who wants to follow follow their passion become a singer songwriter and and live out their own dreams what what would your I, I, I don't know whether act how you want to be treated will cover everything, but at the end of the day, uh, if you act serious, you'll be taken seriously. Yeah. You will be treated seriously. And the, when it comes to business, there's no, it's not a laughing matter. It's, it's I mean... Especially you, if you can't pay your rent, right? You know, but that shouldn't be it. The that shouldn't is, be it. You put in the time. Yeah. I think if there's ever a moment in my life that time is money has ever made sense, it is now when, when I have seen how people have taken advantage of that. I mean, I, I, I woke up, I got into my car, I drove to your place, I didn't ask you for fuel, I didn't factor that in, yeah. the payment and everything, I came and I delivered, and you told me to repeat it, and I repeated and repeated and gave you what you wanted, and then after that you don't pay me my money, you are really looking for a fight. Absolutely. So, act how you want to be treated. It's not, it's, it's not a situation where you go laughing with your boss. No, no, no. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next week on the Kevin Widop Show. Lots of exciting guests coming up from the worlds of business, finance, and entertainment how they made it and deconstructing the, the methodology and strategy behind that success.